Well, we're now ready to install a spree. Uh, we've inserted the uh, DVD, and uh, this is a computer that has never had a spree on it. And so we have two options: we can run the setup, and or we can open and view files. So we're going to start by opening and viewing the folders that are on the DVD. Uh, there is a folder called Get Started that has the uh, training files that come with the spree inside of that folder. Uh, the PDF files are the, the uh, explanation about how to do those uh, exercises. There's a read this first folder which is empty at this point so we've included a couple of uh, read this first documents from Esprit 2014. This first document is general installation information about Esprit. Um, so you might want to carefully look this over. This will give you some, some tips and tricks on how to install Esprit on your computer. The next document deals with the server security system. This would be if you're using a floating license. This will give you information about how to set up the server for the floating license. There's of course going to be a server and a client. Uh, the server has the, uh, the license on it. Uh, it. It administers license and then the clients are the PCs attached to that server. Now if we go back into the folder, we we'll see that there are some other under the uh, DVD there are some other folders. Uh, there's a what's new folder to give you what's new information. This will only be valid for customers that are coming from Esprit 2014. It will only cover those items that are new since Esprit 2014. There's a utilities folder. Uh, in that folder under Esprit settings is a file, a little utility called Esprit settings.exe. Uh, the uh, use of this is for adjusting the graphics if necessary. Uh, you can adjust the, uh, the the way the pixel settings are for the graphics card. The other folders are some prerequisites that will be installed with the spree, but you may, if you run into any types of issues with the, in the installation, may be asked by someone at uh, DP Technology or uh, your reseller uh, to go into one of those folders to manually install uh, any of those prerequisites. So just bear that in mind, that's where you will find those. Then next we simply launch setup, which is the same thing if we had made the first choice in the auto run that showed up on the screen. Now we go to the main menu of the setup, you'll notice we have a browse media and a browse utilities folder. So if we were to open up the browse media, it'll do the same thing, it'll open up the folder on the DVD. The browse utilities goes right straight to that utilities folder where that Esprit settings file is located. There's also an Esprit on the web which will take you to a direct link and at the bottom we choose what language we wish to install in. Next we're ready to go to install products. At the very top it's going to ask you to make sure that you have disabled the UAC uh, account, the user account control. That has to be disabled. So you can do a, a search in Windows for UAC and pull up the UAC and simply tell it to never notify. You'll need to reboot after you do that change. Next you'll scroll down the scroll bar on the right to the bottom and turn on that you have read and accept the license terms. Now it's going to ask what you want to install. Uh, by default it will obviously install Esprit, but there's also a setting for Esprit 2015 accessory pack. Strongly recommend you turning this on. There's no reason not to install this. Now the server security manager, this is something that a lot of users make a mistake is they immediately think that they have to install this. This is only installed if this computer is going to be the licensed server. So if this computer is not the licensed server, you don't install this. That only gets installed on the computer that is the actual licensed server. At the bottom are a couple of, of optional items. The Inventor and Solid Edge add-ins are only available if you have those software on this computer. So if you have a, a license of Inventor or Solid Edge, you can install those add-ins on this computer. Next, we'll show you a list of all the options, either for a spree or the accessory pack. And if you want to look at your settings, you can change the selection. You can go into custom, change the folder. I strongly recommend that you accept the default and simply install where a spree points to by default. Now on the left, what you'll notice is a laundry list of items that will be installed uh, during the process of installing a spree. Now you see multiples of the same thing, the C++ listed there. 
That's because depending upon your computer, whether you're running a 32-bit or 64-bit computer, you, or what version of, of, uh, of Spree you're installing, uh, that will dictate which of those uh, of those methods are going to be installed. We'll talk about that in a moment, a little more. Next, you're going to enter the customer code and serial number. Uh, this is from your documentation that came with the Spree. If you're using a USB module, it's going to be typed on the, on the side of that USB module. So customer code and serial number, which will be an E followed by some digits. And then an email address. And the next thing you'll do is when you hit next, it'll go out and check your customer code and your serial number to make sure this is a valid license of a Spree. Now, if you get this error about a, a, a mismatch, a SMC mismatch, go ahead and hit uh, hit yes and continue. Now, as you see, it's going through now at the top, and it's it's searching down through the uh, those those four different types of C++ uh, prerequisites, and it's choosing the third one down. And that's because this particular laptop that we're installing on is a laptop, first of all, that never had a spree on it. But what it also do is it's a 32-bit. PC, so it's it's not a 64-bit PC, so it chooses the appropriate version to install. And now we're loading the SQL Server. Uh, this is an instance of SQL Server uh, that is specific for a Spree. It's used to manage um, uh, some databases that are, that are installed with the Spree. The Sentinel Protection uh, Installer. This is the driver for the little USB module. And then the DB Technology Security Manager, this is the software that is used to manage the license. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. Next thing it goes to is the actual install of a Spree. Now this will vary in how long it might take. It could take 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, just be patient and let it continue. As long as you see the scroll bar at the bottom moving, then it's it's working. Once it is installed, you'll see the Spree icon uh, pop up on your desktop. Now it's doing a final bit of installation, which is the accessories pack. Next thing it'll take you to is a registration page. You'll enter in all the information about registration, and then you'll hit next. It'll now ask you to activate the security system. The easiest method is simply to pick the very first activate by the internet and hit next. The next option would be if you were to go on to the DP Technology website and download your license file before installing. The next option will be to identify this computer as a client connected to an existing Esprit server. And the last option is if you do not want to install the security information now, you could simply uh, let it finish installing and do that later by opening Security Manager separately, which we will do in a moment. So now the, the message says that it's installed. So all we have to do now is drop down and hit finish. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what's been installed. There's, a, there's a, a, a menu item called DP Technology with several folders. Under Security is that Security Manager we talked about. Here we have all the add-ins that were loaded with the accessory pack. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to open up and look at this security manager. We'll talk about some of the basic settings inside of that. You must have the security manager up and running before a spree will launch. Now at the top, the first two icons on the right in yellow are for the server, if this was a server license. They'll disappear if it's not. You click the blue plus item to add a license. Here, any USB modules or machine-bound licenses will show up under this list, and here we have uh, connections to a floating license. Again, more information about that's in the README files. Now we're moving on to a second PC. Now this is a, another computer that already has a Spree 2014 on it, and now we're going to go through the same process of installing on this second computer. Now with this second computer. We're going to go ahead and install the products, and one of the items that it's going to go through is we could do the same choices here about the, the license, but it's going to also uninstall RS3 2014. Now we see it had the same options listed here. But also notice that we have a couple of additional FX translators. That's because this computer happens to be a 64 bit computer. So we have more options than we had on our 32 bit computer. So now we could choose any of those to add if we wish. So now you see at the top it's going to do an uninstall of a spree. And it's going to show all the other items that could possibly be installed. We're ready to accept this and begin installing. And 
We need to get the software activation information, we need to get the customer code and serial number. And again, if you get the message, just hit yes and it moves on. Now it's going through the process of uninstall, uninstalling a Spree. Now keep in mind that this is not for every version. If you have a Spree 2008, for example, and you wanted to uninstall it, this probably is not going to do that. So this is, this is uh, going to work for newer versions of a Spree. So if you do run into a problem with it uninstalling, it will flag you and it will come up and warn you that you'll need to uninstall. So you'll have to close the installation, go to remove programs, and uninstall the older version of Esprit before you can install Esprit 2015. Now we're loading the accessory pack, or uninstalling, excuse me, the 2014 accessory pack, and now we're loading the appropriate C++ uh, prerequisite, which in this case would be a 64-bit one. And then now we're going through and loading the uh, SQL Server. And then it will load the Sentinel protection for the, uh, for the device driver, for the USB driver, for the uh, module or dongle, if you will. And then we're going to load the, uh, the, tech, not the uh, security manager software, which is what we went into earlier to look at the licenses. And then now we're ready to go ahead and install a Spree. Again, just wait it out. This could take a while to install a Spree. Just be patient. Uh, it will finish, but uh, just be patient and let it let it finish. Now we do the accessory pack. And once the accessory pack is done, we're going to do the registration. And uh, once registration is complete, it's going to let it finish. Or what it may do when it's finished is come back up. And uh, well, let's go to the activation security system next. So choose what method we're going to use. In this case, we're going to tell it we want to go ahead and try to skip security ac activation and say, let's, we're done. So now we go to finish. And now what happens immediately is it came up this time. It says, in order to complete the installation process, a reboot is required. So follow the instructions and reboot the computer. And after we have it rebooted, we have our Esprit icon on the desktop. And before we do that, I want to look at the folders where it's put these files we're going to work with. And by default, what Esprit is going to do is install the working files under your, your user account name, under your My Documents, under DP Technology. Those are going to be all the folders that are going to be supporting Esprit. Those are the default locations of those folders. Again, under, under your user account, My Documents, DP Technology, Esprit. Now once that's finished, we're going to go ahead and open and launch Esprit. And you're going to get a splash screen that's going to come up on the screen. And you simply will hit your OK button once, once it's available. It'll now take you to the next page, which is the template file. We'll talk more about template files when we get into the actual uh, uh, tutorials themselves. And then when you hit OK or Cancel, you now come up to a blank screen. And so at this point, if your screen looks like this, you have successfully installed a spree. So now this is the default screen of a spree. And now we're ready to move on to the next exercise.